Shivan Mahaprabhu has had has advantage in this world. He has come in this world to deliver the fallen souls of this Kali Yuga. Because we are so much fallen, we, our minds are so weak, our tendencies are so bad, our ha habits are so bad that we, are, we have completely forgotten about our original nature, who we are, where we have come from. We have completely forgotten Krishna. So, Shivan Mahaprabhu, seeing that these people, the divinities of the Spell Yuga, these jivas, they do not even understand about their nature. What to speak of knowing the wonderful and the mysterious and the most uh, sweet love of Shivan Mahaprabhu for Krishna. This is not possible for them. So, mercifully he said, I will do the both things. I will come and buy the Naam, by distributing Krishna Naam Kirtan, Hare Krishna Mantra, they, everyone can come and benefit from this mantra and he himself tasted the mood of Srimati Radhika, the mood with which she controls Krishna. He tasted that mood himself and also he has given sprinkles of that love for us. So he made first attempt to come to Braja because unless he would come to this place and he would not again establish those places of past time, nobody can understand because by that time, it was 5,000 years ago Krishna has performed his past time and by this time, all the places were again covered. So when Mahaprabhu came, one by one, he went to all the different places and he again established those places like Radha Kund, Shant Kund and all other places. So, in first attempt, he was not able to come by because there were so many more devotees with him. So he wanted to come from the highway, but then all the devotees surrounded him and they did not let Mahaprabhu come to Vindavan. Then on the rise of Sanatana Goswami Prabhu, Mahaprabhu came to the forest of Jharkhand. And there also, by crossing through the forest, he delivered so many animals, he delivered so many trees and plants and creatures by chanting Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. And then he came to Brazil. So probably will speak for a few more minutes and then we'll take Prashadam and go. Mahaprabhu, 
Then he went to, he, he wanted to discover Radha Kund and Shyam Kund. So he inquired from the local people there, village people, that if they know anything about Radha Kund and Shyam Kund. But nobody could reply anything. But instead they said, yes we know there is two fields. There are two fields nearby we know. One is Sham field, Sham Khet, and another is Gauri Khet. Gauri Khet. So means in one of the fields they were having uh, crops with black complexion, and in another field they were having crops with fair complexion, white complexion. So Mahaprabhu he immediately understood it must be that, that it must be the same place. So he said, you take, you take me to those places. So the village people, they took Mahaprabhu to, to that places on, in that field. The Mahaprabhu saw that it was all covered with big crops, but there was little, little water somewhere. So he saw that water, and just by seeing, he understood that these are the only, uh, these are actually Radha Kund and Sampur. So he bathed at that place, and then he established that he, he certified that those places are Radha Kund and Sampur. Where later on, by uh, desire of Raghunath Das Goswamipad, this whole nice arrangement was made. And so now we see that. So like this, Mahaprabhu went to many other places and then when he went back to Puri, he thought in his mind that though I have gone to Matra and Vrindavan and I have established all these places, but again after some time, these places will be covered, will become hidden. Because people will not understand the glory of this place. They will not be able to relate themselves in this place. So then he sent the six Goswamis and other devotees, mainly six Goswamis, and he ordered them they should go and establish deities at particular places in relation to their pastimes. And he ordered them also to publish scriptures and write books in accordance to those places and plus stating the principles and doctrines of Gauriya Sampradaya. So that's how all the six Goswamis, six Goswamis have written so many scriptures and it is very authentic, modified and detailed description of Shri Radha Krishna's and also of Shiva Mahaprabhu. And we are very fortunate that we are getting that treasure, that unlimited wealth from very bona fide simplic succession of our Gurus who are so much absorbed in the same way which Shiva Mahaprabhu was in. This is something very special because in Kalyuga it is impossible. But still we have that. So we must be very much sincere and dedicated and we must be very much inquisitive and enthusiastic to receive that mercy. And we should dedicate ourselves completely and pray by coming to these places. We get an opportunity to touch the dham. And by seeing the dham vases and bearing the mercy of the deities, by giving some donation, we solidify our sanskara supriti. That Sukriti then it culminates to a very big amount. It gives us a very favorable mood, a very favorable intelligence and mind by which we can understand what we are doing. Otherwise, in the lack of Sukriti and Sankara, it is very difficult for us to advance. Because if we say we get causeless mercy, that's true we can get causeless mercy, but that's very, very rare. Very, very rare. There are hardly any few examples where devotees have got causeless mercy. Most of us, we must do some sadhan, and the basis of sadhan is this Sukriti. Because unless we have this Sukriti, we cannot find, we cannot perform this devotional activity. Why? We have to carry out these activities through our bodily senses. But we see we are so in incomplete. Our senses, they cannot do so much. Our mind does not cooperate. So many problems. So these are just basic things we have to follow. So by coming here, since we have made such a big effort coming all the way from so many far out countries and spending so much money, taking out so much time. So let's very sincerely pray to this place and pray to Shivan Mahaprabhu and our Goswamis and our Gurus and our Prampara and pray to all the Dhammasis that they should become kind and compassionate towards us. Though we don't have any qualification and we know that we don't deserve these things, but by the end of the causeless mercy, they can make us capable. Because Shiva Mahaprabhu's mercy is known that he does not give his mercy, but he also gives the qualification. Those who don't deserve, he makes them deserving. So we have this hope and with this hope, we continue.
to follow this path and go all this, for all of the whole of this month and go to all those places and pray for the mercy of that place also. God Pramanande Kartik Brata Ke Brata Palan Kari Bhakta Vrinda Ke Shishikaur Nityananda Prabhu Ke Lord Pramanande Ramesh Gupta Ji Ke this is the devotee who have invited all of us and he's making such a nice arrangement from Prashad and he's doing that so it's nice to be so we're getting his day. All glories to Ramesh Prabhuji.